Here are some safety guidelines for working with and around the heavy equipment and trucks commonly used on modern dairy farms. Never operate heavy equipment while under the influence of drugs, legal or not, or alcohol. Always use a seatbelt when driving. Be aware of your safety at all times around big equipment. Never assume that the driver sees you. Make direct eye contact with them to be sure. A working dairy is not a playground. Keep children away from grain hauling vehicles and equipment that is in operation. Never allow a person to ride in the bucket of the front end loader. Be sure to avoid power lines at all times. Remember, always wear seat belts. Be watchful of your safety when around big equipment. Make eye contact with drivers. Never allow a person to ride in the bucket of a front end loader. The PTO may be one of the most dangerous pieces of equipment on the dairy. Note the rotating part of the PTO. Even if it is shielded, workers should never reach across it or step across it. This could result in severe injury or even death. Remember, PTO entanglement usually results in terrible injury or death. Keep clothes and limbs away from rotating PTO shafts. Always disengage the PTO, shut off the engine, and remove the keys before leaving the tractor seat. There are a number of important points to be aware of in silage safety. Rollover protective structures create a zone of protection around the tractor operator. When working around the silage pile, be aware of the danger from falling debris. The pile should be carefully trimmed into a flat face to maintain the quality of the feed and to keep the area safe. To reduce the risk of a tractor rollover, it is very important to maintain a minimum slope of 3 to 1 on the sides and ends of a drive-over pile. Adjust rear view mirrors on all tractors and trucks. Use backup warning alarms. Never allow people in or near a bunker silo or drive over pile during filling. When filling bunker silos and drive over piles, pack tractor operators should always form a progressive wedge of forage to provide a safe slope for packing. A straight drop off a bunker silo wall is a significant risk so never fill higher than the top of the wall. Do not fill a bunker or build a pile higher than the equipment can safely reach. Loaders can reach a height of 12 to 14 feet. Use proper unloading technique. Shave down the face and never dig the bucket into the bottom of the silage. Undercutting creates an overhang of silage that can loosen and collapse. Instead of taking samples from the face of a silage pile, it is much safer to take samples from a feed-out pile. When uncovering silage, use extreme caution as it may collapse under body weight. Two or more people should always uncover silage together. 
Use caution when removing plastic and tires from bunker silos and driveover piles, especially near the walls and the edge of the feed-out face. Never stand near the top of a silage overhang, as a person's weight can cause it to collapse. Use equipment operating from the ground level to remove spoiled silage from the surface of bunkers and piles. Silage defacers can remove the hazard of undercutting. Do not approach the defacer blade area while the machine is in operation. Never stand near the feed-out face. Do not park or exit vehicles near the feed-out face. Remember, watch out for falling debris. Keep the face of the silage pile flat for safety. Use mirrors. When two or more pack tractors are used, establish a driving procedure to prevent collisions. Form a progressive wedge to make a safe slope. Do not overfill a bunker or pile. Do not undercut the pile. Take samples from a feed-out pile, not the silage face. Two or more people should always uncover silage together. Never stand near the top of a silage overhang. Keep away from the feed-out face.